tapped her one into another dimension. Liu Yang saw a person flying in the sky, stretched his neck upwards and shouted, Dear, come out quickly and see God. The shadow carried a sword and tumbled as he flew, looking like he was going to fall. Yu Yang shouted again, bro, don't fly too fast, your pants are dropping off. The person flying in the sky fell on the ground head first. Yu Yang, a normal high school student, didn't even bother to ask if the person who fell down was okay, but instead picked up the sword that shone with a golden light. He yelled, master, this flying sword is a treasure, you'll break it if you fling it randomly like that. What will happen if it accidentally hits small kids? Even if it didn't, it's also not good if it hit the nearby flowers and grasses. How about letting your disciple take care of the sword? And the universal pouch. Such a powerful and intelligent immortal-like master shouldn't be carrying an old pouch like this on your waist this disciple will help you to safeguard them. The old Taoist priest that fell to the ground almost coughed blood. Having lived for thousands of years, it was the first time he met such a shameless person who had randomly acknowledged him as his master. Master, your disciple has reached a marriageable age, but still had no match yet. Do you have a granddaughter by any chance? I won't care much about her looks or age, I'm not a picky person Yu Yang chuckled lewdly. Finally, the enraged priest couldn't take it anymore and kicked him on the butt, shouting. Get lost. Get lost you brat. Just like that, Yu Yang was kicked into another dimension. Ah. His eyes moved, he's awake. Xiao San Jij is finally awake. Yu Yang's eyes had not fully opened when he heard a voice as clear as bells ringing at his ears. Shuang Er, don't be rude towards your brother then, he heard a warm and gentle, motherly voice that carried an air of motherly love with him. As Yu Yang opened his eyes, the old Taoist priest had gone away, instead, an adorable and lively girl sprang into his view. She was a small girl wearing a bluish-green Chinese gown, her pale white arms stuck out of the sleeves. Her hair was braided with red ribbons on two sides and flowed down to her waist. Her pearl-white wrist was adorned with a silver bracelet that had a small bell. The small girl mischievously reached out her hands to pinch Yu Yang's nose. As her soft, supple arms moved, the bells on her bracelet jingled, sounding much like her crisp and clear giggles. Eh? Yu Yang felt strange. Is this girl that old Taoist priest granddaughter? Such a high-quality Lolita. As he was preparing to make a move on the girl, suddenly a pair of arms reached out from behind and held onto the mischievous girl, sweating her small hands lightly. Thinking that that punishment for being mischievous was enough, the girl was then drowned in the arm's embrace. The small girl was not even afraid and thought that it was fun, giggling away in her mother's embrace. Grimacing at the cute scene in front of him, Yu Yang thought about the strangeness of it all. His gaze swept across the room and fixed upon the woman behind the small girl, and his heart unconsciously let out a small sigh. Oh my, what a beautiful wife. A 30-year-old young woman was sitting in front of Yu Yang. She had delicate features, her complexion wide as the moon and her eyes clear as spring. Her small mouth bloomed into a smile that was as gentle and refined as flowing water. Her lustrous black hair was pulled up high into a bun, barely decorated with a single purple phoenix hairpin, simple and elegant, but yet still stylish. Looking at her as a whole, her expression seemed to appear even more beautiful and full of wisdom. Adorned in a sky-blue gown and a jade bracelet on her wrist that was hugging the small girl, she was a sight for Yu Yang to see. If I could marry such a woman, I wouldn't want anything else. The beautiful woman saw that Yu Yang was awake, and her smile disappeared. Her jade-white complexion was filled with a grieved and guilty expression, San Er, don't be so rash again next time. Who gives you the notion to drown yourself in the river when things get hard? Luckily we managed to save you in time, otherwise, how would I how would I face my older sister? When big sis entrusted you to me, Sin Yang, I had already thought of you as my own child. Sander, so many years passed, I could never have the heart to punish you. This time you made a big mistake, and if I don't make you remember the lesson today, I would be letting my big sister down. Next month, wait until your fourth uncle comes back, ask him for a beating as your punishment. The small girl twitched her little nose and followed along, ask him for a beating, the papa, let him beat you until your butt is swollen. Ah. Yu Yang was bewildered. When did he ever try to drown himself? Where is this? Where did the old Taoist priest kicked him to, is she mistaking him as someone else? A strange thought flew past his mind. Could it be that someone that looked like me and I had drowned in the river together, and this beautiful woman saved me instead of the other guy, letting that unlucky chap drown and became fish food? His forehead dripped with sweat thinking of that. This misunderstanding is too big. The guy who was transported to another dimension was scared that he would say the wrong thing if he opened his mouth. He did not dare to explain the misunderstanding, let alone ask where that place was. If the other party realized that he was not a precious an error, she could throw him back into the river. That's not good. The beautiful woman looked at the nervous Yu Yang, whose forehead was filled with beads of sweat and face pale as sheets. 
She thought that he was feeling guilty and looked very cute, so her voice became much gentler, Santa er, it's okay if you understand your mistakes. Young people shouldn't be afraid making mistakes, but it's a problem if they don't learn from their mistakes. Xin Yang has watched you grow up and knows that you know what's good and bad for you. It's just that the matter of the daughter of the Shu family rejecting your engagement had hit you too hard and made you do something rash. San Er, even though Shu family's daughter is good, if her heart is not set on you, let the engagement go. If you can't share your troubles and happiness with your wife and support each other in troubled times, then you shouldn't even get married. Look at our Yu family, we are one of the big four families. There are so many girls in this world, did you think you won't be able to find one? Yes Yu Yang decided to feign himself as the fool who drowned himself on the river. After the crisis was over, he would wait for an opportunity to explain. San Er, it's good if you understand. Xin Yang is relieved now. The beautiful woman had been prepared to persuade him for a long time, but the boy had unexpectedly came around after jumping once into the river. She thought that miracles did exist. The beautiful woman then told Yu Yang to rest well. She released the small girl and stood up, preparing to leave the room. Yu Yang's heaved a sigh of relief in his heart, luckily he had managed to hide the truth. But now he had to find a way to slip away, just in case that chap who drowned himself didn't die and came back. Everything would then be exposed. The beautiful woman held the small girl's hands and walked towards the door, then suddenly turned back and asked, Santa Er, will you promise me that you wouldn't try anything rash? You may look weak, but you have a strong mind inside. Even though you might look agreeable on the outside, you have a stubborn heart that I know. Please don't wait until I'm gone and do foolish things behind my back again, you really won't do anything rash again, right? No, I won't Yu Yang shook his head like a rattle drum. Why would he kill himself? He still need to find that old Taoist priest to seek revenge. The beautiful woman looked at Yu Yang's face that was full of sincerity, and her heart felt much better, Xin Yang trusts you, San Er. Don't ever try to kill yourself again. Your parents are not here anymore. Your fourth uncle had no sons and I'm infertile, Bing Er is a girl, and Shuang Er is still so young. Your father and fourth uncle didn't have anyone else to continue our family's line, so it's all up to you now. Remember this, okay? Yu Yang sweated profusely, thinking. No, you can't leave it up to me, I'm not your San Er. Your San Er had already become fish food I'm afraid that this matter of continuing bloodline won't ever be fulfilled. But of course, he couldn't say it out loud. He simply nodded and muttered a small yes. The small girl was getting bored, so she let go of the woman's hands and jumped out of the door, scampering away in an instant. The beautiful woman called out at the small girl, but she didn't listen, so she had to chase after the small girl. Even as she walked out the door, she turned back again and said worriedly, San Er, don't be too depressed. Even your stupid uncle only managed to fulfill his first contract one month before his 20th birthday. Don't you still have three months left? You had worked hard for so many years. It's still not the end yet, do you want to give up now? Nobody from our Yu family had ever failed to make a contract with a summoning grimoire. Trust me, you won't be an exception I think, maybe it was because your parents sealed your grimoire when you were young. They didn't want you to successfully made a grimoire contract at such a young age and then become arrogant. Continue to train hard, okay? Otherwise, with the talent you displayed since you were young, how could you not make a contract? Believe in me, you have your parents' blood flowing through your veins, you'll definitely be a talented and outstanding person in the future. You will be successful, so you must not be discouraged and try even harder. Grimoire contract? What the heck is a summoning grimoire? Maybe the bloodline of that drowning guy was good, but he was not him, he was just a normal guy. If he had any outstanding aspects, it could only be his good skills in playing games, especially the games from overseas. Yu Yang didn't know how to make a contract with any grimoire, but after listening to the beautiful woman, he could guess that the guy who looked like himself decided to commit suicide because he had given up all hope. That guy didn't have any parents and couldn't succeed in making a contract with whatever grimoire for so long, then her fiancé refused their engagement. He must have thought life was too hard to live on and drowned himself. The sadder thing was that although he tried to drown himself, the one who was saved was actually another person who looked like him in the end he himself was brought back here, and that pitiful 18-something guy had probably bought a free express ticket to the bottom of the ocean. The only thing that Yu Yang didn't understand was how could he himself be in the river. Is it because that old Taoist priest kicked me into the river? Why would he kick him into the river? Or did that old geezer wanted him to be reborn as this pitiful guy? Yu Yang thought until beads of sweat flowed down his forehead. This joke went too far. San Er, you should rest first. These are my thoughts even if you can't make a contract with the Grimoire, you are still my precious San Er. I think of you as my own son, so even if we had to sell all of our wealth, we'll think of something for your future. Your fourth uncle may not say it out loud, but he also thought the same way. San Er, just concentrate on recovering. 
maybe tomorrow you could suddenly make a contract successfully. The beautiful woman then repeatedly asked him to rest before turning her body and walked out of the room. Liu Yang was moved by her words. Although her concern wasn't directed towards him, she was really kind towards that pitiful guy. He thought it was foolish of him to commit suicide. Such a good stepmother, how could you find another in the world? Instead of cherishing what he had, that pitiful boy drowned himself for his failed engagement. Serves him right. Yu Yang's heart was not thinking objectively anymore. He had wanted a person who loved him that much, but he couldn't even have one. He looked at the beautiful woman exiting the room and heaved a sigh of relief. If only he was that San Er and had such a nice stepmother. Unfortunately, he wasn't that pitiful guy. Lying back in his bed, his gaze fell onto a huge book with a gold cover on the table. It looked a little bronze, its color faded and old. It was strangely thick, two or three times thicker than a normal book. The cover was even filled with strange ancient characters. Liu Yang felt a strange attraction towards that book. There seemed to be an unknown being who slowly called him forth. That kind of feeling felt just like the anticipation of installing a game, waiting impatiently to scroll the mouse and clicking on the start button Yu Yang subconsciously reached his hands out, wanting to touch that strange looking golden book. Unbeknownst to him, the moment his fingers touched the book, that book suddenly shone with a golden light. The whole room was filled with a golden light. Under such a bright light, Yu Yang used his other hand and covered his eyes. He almost couldn't open his eyes due to the strong light. Suddenly, an endless flow of knowledge surged into his brain violently. Furthermore, it was so strong that it couldn't be stopped. Yu Yang didn't even have the time to react, as his brain was stuffed with strange knowledge to the brim. On the other side, the book was still emitting a strong light, like there were still even more knowledge to be transmitted. His mind seemed to understood countless of things, but also not comprehending them. He couldn't grab the main knowledge and was unable to understand clearly the knowledge he had learned. Now, Yu Yang was in a situation where he seemed to understand, but not to understand, seemed clear but not too clear, such a confused state. Inside his body, there seemed to be a change. It seemed like something had awakened. It felt like a mysterious power that had slept inside him for all this while was awakened. The revelation seemed like heralds of angels singing at heaven's gate, causing Yu Yang to tremble all over. Although his ears couldn't hear it, his heart heard the voice very clearly. Indeed, a mysterious power was calling to himself from within his body. But he didn't understand what it meant and only heard the mysterious power call. It was such a unique experience, the voice sounding even more heavenly than an angel's song, immersing him deep within. That kind of beautiful voice can move a person's soul, like a mother's lullaby you heard when you are sick as a kid. Thousands of words would not be able to describe that feeling at the same time, in the midst of his consciousness, Yu Yang saw a flying sword emitting a strange light. It was mysteriously spinning on its own, the strangeness of it all can't be described in words. The flying sword was then held in the hands of a fairy. It looked like she was singing and dancing gracefully, freely moving across the empty space. What, what the heck is all this? The golden light engulfing Yu Yang slowly disappeared, returning back into the book, barely shining in between of Yu Yang's fingers and the book itself. The silence returned as the mysterious call disappeared. That flying sword also started to disappear without trace. Yu Yang snapped back into reality and was surprised to find that his fingers were shining with light. Yu Yang froze and wriggled his fingers. The golden light slowly disappeared. However, that bronze-colored book that looked really heavy unexpectedly started to float in the air and stopped in front of him. The feeling it gave Yu Yang right now was not that of a heavy golden book, but something that was a part of him, like his own armor legs. At the door, the beautiful woman stood awestruck, her face full of tears. She leaned on the sides of the door, using the door to support her trembling, emotional body. Then, her body seemed to lose strength as she fell onto the ground. She had watched everything, her face showing an extremely surprised but happy expression. Her tears flowed like a stream of water, dripping onto her clothes. Sanderer, you, did you succeed in making a contract with the summoning grimoire? Is, is this real? Am I dreaming? Heavens above, this is all thanks to Big Sis's blessings. Big Sis, did you see that Sanur had succeeded in making a contract? I've said it before, Sanur is not a good for nothing thank heavens that he's not, I thank you from the bottom of my heart on behalf of our Sanur. The beautiful woman kneeled on the ground, her emotions flowing uncontrolled. She cowed out Ed sincerely, thanking the heavens for their blessings. Her white forehead had become red due to her kowtows, and the floor wet with her tears. But the beautiful woman didn't mind the pain and continued to kowtow and give thanks. Liu Yang quickly came over and tried to help Xin Yang up. Although he was a fake, he was still moved by the beautiful woman. At the door, the small girl had returned too, her hands holding a big red pinwheel. She tilted her head and asked, Mom, why are you crying on the floor? Chapter 2 Twin Star Inherent Skill. The small girl's question snapped the beautiful woman back to reality. 
she quickly wiped her tears that drenched her whole face. As Yu Yang watched her face which was a total mess, he felt warm tears pooling in his eyes. He took in a deep breath and calmed his emotions, then tried to help her wipe her tears. The beautiful woman didn't let him help her and moved his hands away. She then hurriedly ran out of the room. Yu Yang stared at her disappearing back for a long while. Xiao San Jij, why was mom crying on the floor? The small girl asked curiously, but she didn't really pursue the matter further. Instead, she raised a big pinwheel in her hands and said, look, isn't my pinwheel pretty? I bought it on a street market. There were even sweet rock candies selling on the streets, but mom didn't buy it for me. Xiao San Jij, I want to learn how to ride a horse. My pinwheel would only turn faster if I was riding the horse fast enough. Yu Yang sweated, why is this girl so mischievous? Riding horse. Could it be that pitiful guy who drowned himself always took her for a ride? He shouldn't let this small girl found out that he was not the same person. But he also couldn't let her ride a horse, what would happen if she fell? But he didn't have to reject the small girl's request, he just need to play with her. Yu Yang picked the girl up, raised her up high in the air and bring her down again, making her giggle with happiness. After a few times of that, the small girl had already forgotten her request and leapt happily into his arms. Ha! Ah, it was a small task for Yu Yang to subdue the little girl. Outside the door, the beautiful woman who had washed her tears away had returned. Yu Yang quickly put the small girl down. But the small girl didn't let go of her small hands, still wanting to be carried in his arms. The beautiful woman then pulled the small girl away from Yu Yang and said happily, San Er, quick, let Xin Yang see your inherent skill and guardian spirit San Er. I've said it before that you would definitely succeed ah, this is so good, after working hard for so many years. You have finally succeeded. San Er, you have finally become an outstanding person. Quick, open the summoning grimoire and let Xin Yang look, I'm so excited to see it. Inherent skill. Guardian spirit beast. Yu Yang's head was filled with questions once again, just like the time when he was stuffed with knowledge by the mysterious light. Earlier, he had understood one thing. He had been transported to another dimension. This is not Earth, this is another world. In this world, the Soaring Dragon Continent, there were a group of people that were called the Rankers. Rankers were strong powerhouses that had succeeded in contracting Grimoires. Many of these talented Rankers had come from the renowned clans and households that had held their reputations for thousands of years. They are the three royal households, four major houses and four great sects. Aside from the three royal households that would cultivate the next emperor, there were four major houses of Feng, Wind, Shu, Snow, Yu, Earth, and Yan, Fire. There were also the mysterious four great sects. The four great sects gathered many strong rankers to pursue the heaven's way and didn't usually concern themselves with the things in the mortal world. But they would send their disciples out from the mountains once every three years as their final training. Amongst the many rankers, besides the people from the royal households and the four major houses, there are only a handful of talents who manage to make a contract with a very special kind of treasure, the summoning grimoire. The superiority of a summoning grimoire depended on its user. Everyone would have the chance to reach the pinnacle of all rankers. No, actually there was very little chance to reach the pinnacle of rankers. Yu Yang found out that in this soaring dragon continent, it's almost purely a summoner's world. There were no magic nor inner energy, only summons. Summoning skills in this continent could be anything. There were element summoning skills that were like magic, and also strengthening type summoning skills that would increase your strength like inner energy. There were also beast spirit summoning type. Anyway, summoning skills in this world were as normal as students going to school. There were even schools specializing in teaching summoning. Although almost everyone can summon, not everyone can possess a summoning grimoire. On the contrary, a grimoire user could be hardly seen in this world. Taking an analogy, a summoning grimoire user is like the one in a hundred million students who could enter Harvard or Cambridge. Everyone wanted to have a grimoire, but it was the privilege of a handful of talents. When making a contract with a summoning grimoire, every grimoire user would try to awaken an inherent skill sleeping within their bodies. They would also obtain a guardian spirit most suitable for the user. Ah, okay, but I'm not really sure what's my inherent skill. Yu Yang was also curious with the knowledge in his mind. What inherent skill could the summoning grimoire actually awakened? He mouthed a prayer and hoped it wasn't instant noodles, av, games, lacy lingeries or see-through censored related stuff, otherwise he'd be finished. Please don't let it be a neat related inherent skill, otherwise he'll be dead if the beautiful woman saw it. When Yu Yang turned his summoning grimoire, he realized that the first page was his own portrait. Um, he looked rather handsome. Below it, his status was written. Level 1 Beginner Apprentice. Under the apprentice words, there was a simple line of rank description. Apprentice. You are the weakest existence in this world, but with hard work, as a grimoire user, you still have hope to become stronger. Yu Yang cringed the moment he saw that. 
the weakest existence are ants, okay. No matter how weak he was, he was still stronger than ants. Such a belittling description made him feel really bad. Skipping over the rank description, the next half page described his inherent skill. According to the knowledge passed to Yu Yang by the Grimoire, everyone had their own unique inherent skill. Only a handful of people would have an identical inherent skill, but almost everyone's inherent skills were totally different. Of course, this might be because there were not many people who had a summoning Grimoire. The moment he saw his inherent skill, Yu Yang was flabbergasted. His inherent skill was not instant noodle, av movie or games, but it was an inherent skill that caused Yu Yang to sweat in nervousness. To be precise, it was an unusual, very rarely seen, very mysterious, very jealousy-inducing twin star inherent skill. Originally, everyone's inherent skill will appear as a picture below the summoner's portrait, but Yu Yang's inherent skill picture was two pictures joined into one. On the left was a mysterious figure that could be vaguely recognized as Yu Yang's figure. On the right was a shadow of a person's side view, hidden in darkness. If there wasn't another figure to compare, it would be difficult to recognize that it was Yu Yang. The features on his face weren't clear, other than the wolf-like eyes, there were no other recognizable face characteristics. The whole picture was dark and blurry, other than the eyes that were shining like a star, there existed no other light. The thing that drove Yu Yang mad was the twin star inherent skills description. Pamouflage. You are as cunning as a fox and as treacherous as a poisonous snake. You are like an usurping chameleon who live under a camouflage. You are a facade, nobody can see through your heart. Your inherent skill will increase with your level. Your inherent skill current level is 1. Divine vision. You have eagle-like eyes and sage-like reactions. You are like a death god that sees through living things soul. You have an all-seeing vision that sees through the world, so you'll be immune to illusionary or fake devas. Your inherent skill will increase with your level. Your inherent skill current level is 1. Wo Yu Yang almost fell to the ground. Was he that cunning and treacherous? Although he liked to watch censored adult videos and would try to use his eyes to see through the pixels, this skill was something that all perverts can do. When it comes to vision, Yu Yang didn't think that he was actually that good, because usually when actresses wore different clothes and put on their makeup, other than Sora Aoi, Akiho Yashizawa and Yuma Asami, he wouldn't recognize anyone else. Was this even counted as divine vision? As for camouflage, it was even harder to explain. He don't even know how to apply makeup and so on, and at the most, he would just lie a little. Furthermore, who had not lied before? Even a kid would lie if his parents asked whether he had watched a sex tape. This twin star inherent skill. Yu Yang was so depressed that he wanted to hide in a corner and draw circles on the ground. Sanderer, it's okay if you don't have an inherent skill. As long as you work hard, I believe that you could be a strong ranker like your father. The beautiful woman comforted Yu Yang as her eyes turned red, her voice choked with emotions. Ah. Yu Yang was bewildered, he obviously had the twin star inherent skill, why did she said that there was none? Could it be that she couldn't see my inherent skill? Could this be the effect of the camouflage skill? So it is a passive skill. It couldn't be Yu Yang jumped and pointed at the picture on the summoning grimoire. He gulped nervously as he asked, can't, can't you see the picture here? You really couldn't see the words written here? Chapter 3 Mythical Beast Special Ability. Xin Yang is not actually her real name. It technically means fourth godmother, but it sounds weird if I use that every time Xin Yang is mentioned. Hearing Yu Yang's question, the beautiful woman was startled. From her point of view, below Sander's portrait, the summoning grimoire only showed a blank space. There were not even a single picture or words. But Sander did not look like he was lying, could it be that his inherent skill was actually active? An inherent skill that she couldn't see? Sander, don't lie to Xin Yang. Do you really, really have an inherent skill? Xin Yang can't see it, what kind of inherent skill is it? The beautiful woman felt like her heart was at her throat and her eyes almost popping out as she nervously held Yu Yang's hands. Uh, it's camouflage, my inherent skill is camouflage. Yu Yang rubbed the back of his head as he told a lie. He realized that he was really as cunning as a fox. It's good if you really have an inherent skill. Oh my, I was so scared. The beautiful woman was relieved. Her pale hands patted her chest as she closed her eyes and took a deep breath. Every Grimoire user would have awakened their own inherent skill. If Sander didn't have it, then he would definitely be looked down upon and be labeled as a good for nothing. No matter what inherent skill it was, it was fine as long as you had one. Sander's unseen camouflage inherent skill could even be an extremely good inherent skill. The beautiful woman happily reached out her hands and patted Yu Yang's head, Sander, Xin Yang is really happy for you. With this camouflage inherent skill, you would definitely be successful in the future. The small girl, watching her mother patting Yu Yang's head, also reached out her soft, wide and small hands towards his head. The moment she saw her causing trouble, the beautiful woman quickly put her down from her arms. 
the beautiful woman calmed her heart and then signaled Yu Yang to turn the page of his summoning grimoire, turn over to the next page, San Er, look at your guardian beast Shuang Er, stay still, let your older brother turn the page. Be good, stand here beside me okay? A, is this mist? It's all white is your guardian beast a mist type beast. Not bad, although element type beasts take a long time to grow, they are really strong. Although in the beginning it is not as strong as the strengthening type and fighting type beasts, at a later stage, they would become much stronger. As long as it is not the special type beast then it's okay. A, Santa Er, your guardian beast is really good. DLN. So there's element type, strengthening type, fighting type, and special type beasts. The beautiful woman happily clapped her hands, smiling excitedly. Yu Yang was dumbfounded instead. Because what he saw was definitely not a white fog, but a dark shadow of a figure. A shadow that looked exactly like his shadow. Below the shadow, there were a few lines of description. It was the description of his guardian beast. Phantom Shadow. Special type, level 1. You can control your own shadow. Each shadow will have half of your strength. Shadows can be joined together to increase their size. Yu Yang slowly put his hands on the phantom shadow picture as a golden light began to glow underneath his fingers. Is that so? At the same time, a knowledge about summoning the guardian beast flashed across his mind. In the soaring dragon continent, as long as you train hard, you would still be able to learn one or two summoning skills or make a contract with beasts, even if you were a normal warrior. But because they don't have a summoning grimoire, the number of beasts they could summon is limited. Normally, a warrior could only make a contract with one beast. Only a handful of talented warriors might be able to make a contract with two. However, a grimoire user would not have a limit in making contracts. Every page in the summoning grimoire was open for a beast's contract until all pages were full. However, the best thing about a summoning grimoire was not the limit in making contracts, but allowing a grimoire user to have his own guardian beast. This type of guardian beasts were not the same as the normal beasts. They would never die nor betray their master. Guardian beasts would also grow alongside its master, there was no need for other conditions to be met. As long the user's power increased or that the summoning grimoire level increased, the guardian beast would also be stronger. A. Yu Yang had actually wanted to summon a shadow to see what it looked like. But what confused him was that he couldn't summon them out. From the knowledge in his memories, the reason that the summoning failed was because his mana wasn't enough. Yu Yang could also feel it in his heart that summoning his phantom shadow would need at least 10 times as much mana as the normal beasts. What's wrong? The beautiful woman looked at Yu Yang's surprised expression and asked with concern, what happened? It's nothing. My mana is not enough to summon my guardian beast right now. Yu Yang shook his head as a thought flashed across his mind. This guardian beast phantom shadow should be kept a secret. Even if he could summon it later on, he shouldn't summon it in front of others that easily. That beast should remain his secret weapon. Ah. Sander Er, don't worry. Summoning an element type beasts require quite a lot of mana, it's normal if you can't summon it in the beginning. Your guardian beasts will definitely help you as you grow. The beautiful woman quickly comforted Yu Yang. Yes, I will train hard so that I could summon it quickly. Yu Yang said that but he had a different thought in his heart. Through the knowledge in his memories, he knew the normal mana required for summoning beasts. If it was simply summoning a normal element type beast, Yu Yang was confident that he could definitely summon them. However, his own phantom shadow had required 10 times more mana than a normal beast. It was simply too high. Right now it was only level 1, if it leveled up more, he was afraid that the mana requirement will be even more. However, this was not really a bad thing, because the more mana it required, the more powerful his summoned guardian beast would be. For example, Yu Yang's guardian beast phantom shadow that required 10 times more mana compared to normal beasts would have a power difference like a rifle compared to an arrow. Although both weapons are long-ranged, they had a great difference in power. Through the knowledge in his memory, Yu Yang also found out that the biggest difference between his phantom shadow and other people's guardian beasts was not its power. It's the summoning duration. A normal warrior's beast summon would disappear within one hour every time they were summoned. On the other hand, talented warriors might last up to two to three hours. And then, there were a handful of talents who could manage to summon for up to five hours. But this type of people were extremely rare. Yu Yang touched the picture of Phantom Shadow on his grimoire. Although he could not summon the beast, he could still feel the shadow's power. He could feel its power resonating within his heart. After closely feeling the shadow, he was surprised to find out that his shadow could last up to 10 days if it was summoned. Bokao, TLN. Similar to WTF, Yu Yang was suddenly nervous. This secret must never be known by others. Otherwise he could be regarded as a monster and kidnapped to be experimented on in a laboratory. Xiao San Jij, what does Wokao mean? The little girl blinked her curious doe eyes and asked innocently. 
Ah, that is a special ability of an extremely strong mythical beast. It is extremely strong, when unleashed, it would intimidate the enemies. It could even cause the enemy to get crazy, demented, beat their chest wildly, grab people's hair, stomp their feet, bang their heads on the walls, and other sorts of stuff mentally challenged people will do. This ability will be more effective against ladies, but it won't be effective against people who have really thick skins or high mental defense you know, this kind mythical beast usually lived in the depths of a desert. They love to eat grasses and bask under the sun. They would especially love to lie, whoa, in a deep troughs, cow, and eat the grasses that grew there such a beast, why is it so powerful then? It is extremely powerful. Other than the peerless mythical beast such as the celestial crab, it won't lose to anyone. It can even be on par with mythical beasts such as the shock lizard and the elegant butterfly. Alright, I will only explain so much, it's not good if we talk too much into detail. DLN. Tian Chao He Xie, Lit. Celestial Crab. However, it was actually a pun for China's internet censorship. Forums and internet are heavily regulated in China, making it very hard for people to curse. For example, if you write fuck in the Chinese forums, in Chinese of course, it would appear as dot hence various langs have appeared, such as. Yamid I, lit. Elegant butterfly, Y-A-M-E-T dot. Yuki's I, lit. Jacques Lizard. Liu Yang explained tirelessly to the curious little girl. The beautiful woman had thought that this boy had been so nervous that he accidentally cursed in the beginning. But after watching him explaining sincerely and decently, she had almost thought that there were really such a weirdly named mythical beast in this world. Furthermore what he said had made sense. Of course, she also knew that mythical beasts were not that easy to summon. Even top summoners could only manage to summon a few of these mythical beasts, let alone a level 1 apprentice. Thus such a high ambition is intolerable. She quickly warned Yu Yang, Sand Er, all these mythical beasts are all powerful beasts, so they won't make a contract with a weak summoner. Don't think about them now, train your summoning abilities first and work hard to increase your mana it may be too late this year, but next year, your uncle and I will send you to a school. You should work hard, I know that you'll be successful in the future. Yes, yes. Yu Yang wiped off his cold sweat. Luckily she didn't hear him curse, otherwise he would receive a slap across his mouth. After he sent away the beautiful woman who was in good mood and the small girl who was reluctant to leave, Yu Yang could finally sigh a breath of relief. He had managed to hide his identity. She didn't recognize him as fake goods. However, what will happen to him in the future? Chapter 4 Heavenly Sword Goddess. Right now he could still pretend, but later on if he met that fourth uncle or other relatives and friends, and yet could not recognize them, he would definitely be found out. Yu Yang hurriedly searched for the things that drowned pitiful guy had possibly left over. There could be stuff that would explain the drowned guy more, best if it was a diary or something along that line. After looking for the whole day, the table, wardrobe and everything else in the room was all flipped over. There really was a diary, but it didn't help much. The pitiful guy had only written about his summoning meditation and also his Yu family's spear technique training journal. Yu Yang realized that the pitiful guy was actually quite hardworking. He was not able to make a contract with the summoning grimoire, but his Yu family's spear technique training was progressing well. However, from this diary, Yu Yang found out that the pitiful guy didn't reveal his training progress to the others. He had wanted to surprise his family on the day he managed to make a contract with his summoning grimoire. It was due to this that everyone had thought he was good for nothing. The pitiful guy had also noted that the Yu family spear technique was a weapon art technique that was handed down through the generations of Yu family. When combined with a strong fighting beast type spirit beast, it would become extremely powerful. He also wrote in his diary that it was really regrettable that half of the, the spear technique manual was lost because of a villain who had killed a Yu family ancestor, who was an extremely powerful martial artist expert, a thousand years ago. If the Yu family had owned the whole spear technique manual, he believed they wouldn't have merely ranked third amongst the four big houses. They would have been the first. Even with only half of the technique left, the Yu family's spear technique was still a reputable weapon art. Although it was not the most powerful technique, the technique had produced many strong, undefeatable warriors. For example, the pitiful guy's father was the strongest warrior in the Yu family, a talent that came once in a hundred years. It was a pity he left this world early, halting the abrupt rise of the Yu family. Spear technique. Yu Yang was big-headed when he saw it. Although he was a shut-in and never practiced martial arts before, he knew quite a bit about martial arts techniques. There was a poem that says. It takes a month to learn how to wield a stick, a year to wield a blade, and a lifetime to wield a spear. But a treasure sword would not even be mastered in a lifetime. Amongst the difficulty level of weapons, spears were the hardest to master. If not for a long time of harsh training, it would be hard to yield any results. There were a lot of spear techniques, and every family's or school of spear technique would have their own specialties. 
it could be said that there would not even be enough time even if you use your whole lifetime to master the spear. But this spear technique. The pitiful guy had studied it for a few decades, yet it was still in its early stages of training. Liu Yang decided to forget about the spear technique first. What he needed right now was an ability, not a weapon art that he would need to spend his whole life training with. Furthermore, the importance of weapon and martial arts in the Soaring Dragon continent had dwindled. Mastering a martial art technique, even a normal one was extremely difficult. It would be hard to break through the third mastery level, no matter how hard you train. Because of that, even the most powerful techniques such as the Yu Family Spear Technique were not as powerful as last time. Furthermore, the Yu Family Spear Technique needed to be complemented with a suitable spirit beast before its full power could be displayed. Weapon skills were like China's ancient martial art skills, you could improve your physical abilities with training. However, summoning was similar to shooting. Your power depends more on the type of gun you hold, no matter how good your skill was. Summoning did not need harsh training. You would be powerful if your spirit beast was powerful. Even a person who have trained a weapon technique for decades might not be able to master it. In a battle, that person who had trained for over a decade might even lose to a person who had just successfully made a contract with a spirit beast. This was because the person would only need to summon a poisonous snake or a wind wolf that to kill the person who trained for weapon arts. Under these conditions, no one was willing to spend their time and hard work to learn a weapon technique. Everyone would rather train their summoning skills. In addition, the most powerful weapon skill had already been burnt in a fire 3000 years ago. The only weapon skills that were passed down through the years were either the performance kind or the simple and easy to learn weapon skills. Even the secret Yu family spear technique was actually the fifth oldest weapon arts in Soaring Dragon Continent. This could only prove how low the weapon and martial arts had fallen. In the history of the Soaring Dragon Continent, previously, the strongest among the three big countries was actually the Jun royal family, who focused their strength on weapon arts. However, because they still focused on their weapon arts until now, they became the weakest family amongst the three big countries now. It was difficult to catch up to with the new age. Eh? He actually had two rivals in love. Even after reading the diary the whole day, Yu Yang still didn't really understand the situation of his family. But he found out the pitiful guy's arch enemies. One of them was his cousin called Yu Yan, the fourth oldest in the family. He was born a few days later than the pitiful guy. But because of that, he missed the chance to get engaged with the daughter of Xu family. Having lost the chance to get engaged just because of a few days difference had made Yu Yan bitter and dissatisfied. Thus, he frequently ridiculed and bullied the pitiful guy. The other arch enemy was the, the son of the Dao Feng mayor, Xu Qian Ren. This Xu Qian Ren was said to be a genius. He displayed an extraordinary inherent skill when he was six, and at ten, he successfully made a contract with a summoning grimoire. But even with such a powerful resume, he was ruthlessly rejected when his family tried to arrange a political marriage with the Shu family. He was still rejected even when the engagement between the pitiful guy and the daughter of the Shu family was broken. Hence, it could be said that that Shu Qian Ren hated the pitiful guy to the bone. Having read his diary to the end, Yu Yang felt that the pitiful guy's life was really pitiful. He couldn't marry his wife, yet made two arch enemies out of it. Only a beauty who had the ability is a beauty. If a guy has no abilities, then he is just a person that bring harm to others Yu Yang decided that he would not think about the Shu family's daughter at all. Even if she looked like a goddess, he would simply ignore her. There were a lot of beauties in the world, why should he be fixated on one? Why should he gave up the forest just for one tree? If he had the abilities, which beauty would not want him? The reason for Shu family's daughter breaking the engagement wasn't it because the pitiful guy was a good for nothing. If the pitiful guy was an emperor, he could have thousands of beauties in his harem. If he was a corrupt official, he could simply pretend it to do his job and still have a mistress. If he was a rich businessman, having a mistress would be normal, he could even have a threesome if he want. But if he was a nobody, for example a farmer, it would be weird if the Shu family daughter didn't make a ruckus or try to cut his little brother if he tried to have an extramarital affair. But of course, the pitiful guy had no chance for this anymore. Shu family's daughter had broken the engagement and the pitiful guy had become fish food in the river. However, the lesson to be learned was that you should try your best to get rich and successful first, and then choose you could choose a person to share your life with. As Yu Yang indulged in his fantasy, he slowly fell asleep. Hazily, he thought he had entered the imaginary space in his mind when he made the contract with his summoning grimoire earlier. When he was thinking of ways to bring the flying sword out, that shining flying sword suddenly turned into a beautiful goddess wearing a white heavenly gown. Its long, white sash danced in the wind and as her slender, beautiful legs danced lightly on the ground. Gracefully moving her wrist, her long dainty fingers danced in the air. Her slim waist moved beautifully as the unmatched beauty danced in front of Yu Yang. 
Watching such a magical scene, Yu Yang's drool almost turned into a waterfall, his mouth opened wide without any sign of stopping. Heavenly Sword Goddess. That flying sword that he snatched from the old Taoist priest was actually a heavenly sword goddess. The white-gowned goddess continued to dance gracefully, as beautiful as lotus flowers in a pond. As her hands danced a thousand moves, her beauty could not be described with words. The big beautiful rainbow appeared behind the goddess suddenly as thousands of fresh flowers bloomed, drifting in the wind like a butterfly. Yu Yang had thought that it was the magnificent ending to the goddess's dance performance and was preparing to give her a standing ovation when suddenly that goddess unleashed and transparent sword Kai from her fingers through the empty space. The attack was extremely powerful, able to separate the heaven and earth. Seeing how the beautiful goddess had a power that could shake the earth, Yu Yang was dumbstruck. Was this her power? So frightening. In reality, the frightening thing had yet to come. Suddenly, the goddess turned her beautiful body and in a flash, she was right in front of the dumbstruck Yu Yang. Her pearl-white hands that had the power to destroy the heavens suddenly seemed to condense the power of thousands of swords in it. And her finger was pointed at Yu Yang's forehead. Wah! Yu Yang was scared to death as he cried out in fear and suddenly woke up. He only realized that it was just a dream after quite a while. There was no goddess who was pointing a bomb towards his head. However, when he tried to remember the goddess, he found out that a mysterious technique had been quietly hidden in the depths of his mind. As Yu Yang thought about the event just now, an unfamiliar name flashed across his mind. Innate Invisible Sword Kai. Chapter 5 Innate Invisible Sword Kai. Even though Yu Yang was an idiot, he knew he had gotten himself a treasure. There was no need to say much, the word innate could already show the prowess of this sword skill. If one had mastered the Yu clan spear technique in its full power and reached its pinnacle, he could be considered to have an innate rank skill. However, right now, don't even ask if there was anyone in the Yu family who had an innate rank skill, there hadn't been anyone since thousands of years ago. Previously, the pitiful guy's father had had the most potential of breaking through the innate rank, but unfortunately, he died early. Yu family had lost a talented warrior with an enormous potential. Right now the only warriors who had an innate rank skills were from the heavenly imperial guardians that protected the three royal households and two from the Fang and Shu major clans each. However, from the gossips by the common folks, the two innate rankers in the Fang and Shu family were those kind of old geezers who had lived for four to five hundred years. Nobody would ever knew the truth. The most important thing to Yu Yang was that amongst all the innate rankers, they did not achieve the innate rank all by themselves. Innate rankers. The reason why they could enter into the innate realm was because they had a holy beast or a mythical beast. With the assimilation of holy beast and mythical beast, one's strength and growth potential would skyrocket. It would be easier to enter the innate rank this way. However, this process was extremely slow and would take at least a hundred years. Some people would even need two to three hundred years to truly enter the innate realm and became an innate ranker. However, every soaring dragon continent's warrior would need to train for at least a hundred years to master a prerequisite skill before they could start mastering an innate skill. Yu Yang realized that he could simply start mastering this innate skill. The innate invisible sword Kai skill that the heavenly sword goddess taught him in his dreams did not have any prerequisites. To enter the innate realm, he would need to assimilate with the earth and the atmosphere, absorbing the spiritual energy in them. He would wash his body with the spiritual energy and increase the resolution in his spirit. This would not only change the whole structure of his body from his flesh and muscles to his bone marrows, but also train his sword Kai skill to break into the innate realm and attain enlightenment. Old geezer, no, master, this heavenly sword goddess should be your granddaughter. Since you have betrothed your granddaughter to your disciple, I will take great care of her and let her lead a happy life. Master, if you did not reply me, then I would take that you have agreed. I'll count to three, one, two, three. All right, you have agreed, thank you master. The shameless guy put his palms together and mumbled to himself. If these words were heard by the old Taoist priest, he would probably kick this shameless guy to the netherworld and fried him alive with the flames of hell. Liu Yang had wanted to sleep a little more and meet with the sword spirit again, but he was too excited to sleep. He tried hard to calm his heart which was beating wildly and started to train innate invisible sword Kai's first stage. Liu Yang was not a hardworking person in the first place, but this concerned his lifetime happiness. He felt that he needed to master the skill no matter what and in the shortest time possible. He would then train during the day and in his dreams at night. The heavenly sword goddess would instruct him with the skill and then disappear immediately. Yu Yang thought that she was observing her fiancé's improvement, so he trained even harder in his dreams. At first, the process of assimilating the spiritual energy from the earth and the atmosphere was extremely slow. Even after trying to absorb for the whole day, he only managed to collect a few drops. However, Yu Yang found that his mind could better connect with the earth and atmosphere in the mysterious space in his dreams. 
the spiritual energy absorption speed also increased by multiple folds. Hence, Yu Yang would usually be fast asleep, training in his dreams. He slept as much as possible until his headache, before getting up to stretch and continue to train inside his house. For his lifetime happiness, Yu Yang shut himself in his rooms, training diligently. A beautiful woman visited him a few times, but had found him deep asleep. She thought that Yu Yang's body had become very weak after trying to drown himself, so much that he needed to rest and sleep that much. Sometimes she would see Yu Yang meditating seriously. She thought that he was training his summoning skills diligently and felt extremely glad. Every day, she would visit Yu Yang with the small girl. The day, the beautiful woman told him a good news. Sandar, your fourth uncle had heard the news that you had successfully made a contract with a summoning grimoire. He was extremely ecstatic and had went to our clan's main castle to report the good news to our clan elder. He would come back in a few days. Also, with the 1000 gold we had saved these few years, he had managed to buy a spirit beast awakening knowledge pill from the floating mist market. We believe it would help a lot with your training if you took the pill. You could even be promoted to level 2 and break into a new realm, advancing from your current beginner rank. Spirit Beast Awakening Knowledge Pill. As Yu Yang heard the name, the knowledge in his brain seemed to swirl again, and he suddenly recognized the name. Amongst the four major clans, if there were talented warriors who could not make a contract with a summoning grimoire, they would usually seek help from the four great sects. These four great sects would usually have a few spirit pills for sale, and these pills were extremely expensive. After taking these pills, the probability of successfully contracting a summoning grimoire would increase a whole lot. Although the success probability was not 100%, but it was at least 30%. Because of this, naturally there would be countless of people after it. However, the spirit pills released by the four great sects was a luxury good that commoners could never afford. First, the amount was limited, and second, the price was exorbitant. Yu Yang was extremely shocked with the immeasurable love that the beautiful woman and her husband had shown to the pitiful guy. They did everything they could, even to the point of buying a spirit beast awakening knowledge pill for him. Based on the currency here, 1 gold is equivalent to 100 silver or 10,000 copper coins. 1,000 gold means 10 million copper coins. The beautiful woman had sold all their family's wealth and even pawned her dowry in order to raise the funds for the Spirit Beast Awakening Knowledge Pill. Yu Yang had seen that the beautiful woman had only been wearing simple ornaments in her head. From this, one could only imagine the worth of 1,000 gold coins. If not for the inheritance they received from their clan, who would have such a large amount of money to buy a Spirit Pill? The beautiful woman had supported the pitiful guy to such an extreme extent. You could give the pill to Shuang or Mai Mei, I have already made the contract successfully Yu Yang couldn't help but felt touched. The beautiful woman was truly benevolent. What foolish things are you saying? Shuang Er is still young, how would you know if she could not make a summoning grimoire contract in the future? Maybe next year this girl could even already successfully contracted a grimoire. This spirit beast awakening knowledge pill is bought for you. Although you have successfully made the contract, you contracted it a little late. If you take the pill, you could catch up to your peers and live up to your fourth uncle in my hopes. Your parents would also hope that you would be successful in the future and bring glory to our Yu clan. Why are you so stubborn? The beautiful woman was immediately unhappy hearing Yu Yang's rejection and showed a displeased expression. She advised him with thoughtful words, San Er, although your fourth uncle a low-ranked government official, our family could be considered well off. But it was not easy to save a thousand gold, so you shouldn't waste our good intentions. Yes, yes I was wrong. Yu Yang hurriedly agreed. Although the spirit pill was not bought for him, but he was deeply moved with the beautiful woman's kind feelings. I have already written a letter to ask Bing Er to take a leave from her school and come back home. She could teach you some basic summoning skills. I think she would be back by tomorrow, maybe you can check if you need to prepare anything. Xin Yang knew you are hardworking, but don't train too much, you have to know your own limits. Rest well tonight, don't meditate anymore. The beautiful woman didn't know that Yu Yang had been sleeping and eating well these few days. The innate invisible sword Kai could only be mastered by absorbing the spiritual energy from the earth and the atmosphere. The more Yu Yang trained, the better his body would feel. He would never be too tired from training. However, in order to not worry the beautiful woman, Yu Yang was forced to go to bed early. Maybe because he was moved by the beautiful woman buying him the spirit beast awakening knowledge pill, his state of mind went through a change. When Yu Yang trained inside his dreams, he had felt a sudden realization to his skill progress. All the spiritual energy in his body had congregated into one flow. They gathered at his armpits and flowed to his hands. The spiritual energy filled his young men acupoint in his shoulders, Tianfu, Qi Ji and Kong Zui acupoints in his arms, and also the Lai Kei, Tai Yuan acupoints in his wrist. TLN. I gave up searching for English names for these Chinese TCM acupoints. Dot dot. 
Lastly, it filled the Xiao Shang acupoint in his thumbs. The energy surged a few times, and flashes of Sword Kai started shooting off from his thumb. Seeing such a pleasant change had caused Yu Yang to be extremely shocked, and he accidentally woke up from his dream. In the actual world, Yu Yang tried hard to reenact the experience in his dream. He kept trying until he saw a flash of Sword Kai pierce through his walls. Yu Yang finally realized that he had successfully broke through the first energy channel of the first stage of the innate invisible Sword Kai skill, the Hand Tain. The Sword Kai that came from his body was only a few inches long, incomparable to the Heavenly Sword Goddess's 10 meters long Sword Kai that could be swung around. However, although his Sword Kai was still so pathetic, Yu Yang was so ecstatic that he felt like turning into a wolf, looked up to the sky, and gave a loud howl. Chapter 6 Yu Ping and Black on the afternoon the next day, the servant girl who would usually quietly withdrew after serving his meals, suddenly spoke out, Master San, the madam has asked you to come out for lunch. Liu Yang followed her out to the residence hall and saw the beautiful woman sobbing endlessly, embracing a girl covered with black clothings. The usually mischievous small girl acted well-behaved for once, sitting on her chair quietly eating her food. Her little hands held her chopsticks unsteadily as she tried putting grain by grain of rice into her small mouth, sprinkling the rice all over the table in her mouth. Yu Yang saw that the girl in black was actually still young looking, around 14 to 15 years old. Her features were a little similar to the beautiful woman's, but hers were a little more childish. Her doe eyes were a little red as tears poured down her pale white cheeks. When she saw Yu Yang, she immediately wiped her tears and covered her face with a black veil. Yu Yang sighed in his heart. In the Soaring Dragon continent, other than the rarely seen female robbers or assassin, the only other type of women who wore black veils to cover their faces could only be widows. This girl in black should be the beautiful woman's first daughter, Yu Ping. She ranked seventh amongst the nine younger generations in the Yu clan, barely surpassing her sister Shuang Er and the second branch family's youngest, Yu Feng. She was a talent in the Yu family, having successfully contracted a grimoire at the age of eight and a half. It was a pity that the Soaring Dragon continent valued males more than females, as they regarded that females would only be taken as daughter-in-laws or concubines. Sooner or later they would be married off to another family. Thus, although the Yu family would still raise her with love, she would never compare to the first branch eldest son Yu Tian or even the other sons in the family. Furthermore there were indeed a little more talents in this generation of Yu family. The first branch eldest Yu Tian contracted the grimoire at the age of 10 and had excellent martial arts skills and spirit beasts. The fourth eldest son Yu Yan contracted the grimoire at the age of 11, while the sixth eldest son Yu Bao contracted the grimoire at the age of 12. The weaker ones would be the second eldest daughter Yu Yu and fifth eldest son Yu Ting, they both contracted the grimoire only at the age of 15. Thus, comparatively, Yu Bing, who came from the fourth branch, was not really that outstanding. Furthermore, her martial arts and spirit beasts were the plant type that were not very popular in the summoning world. Amongst the four great sects, only the Immortal Spirit Pavilion sect who only accepted female disciples expressed interest in evaluating her, the other three did not even respond. But because there were so many talents in the later generation of the Yu family, when the third branch and his wife died and the pitiful guy ended up being raised by the fourth branch, he could not help but be labeled as a loser when he still failed to contract a grimoire, even at the age of 19. Yu Yang thought, it was no wonder that the Shu family's daughter would ask to cancel the engagement. If she entered into such a talented family yet married a loser for her husband, how could she take the burden? Betting compared to others continuously really took its toll. After the cancellation of his engagement, the pitiful guy could finally take it no more and drowned himself. However, Yu Bing who was as unlucky as he was, did not commit suicide. Certainly, she wasn't rejected by a failed engagement. She married the talented son from one of the four major clans, the House of Feng, through proxy marriage. However, three years ago during his spirit beast's training, he was unfortunately killed off by a wild golden king beast, turning Yu Ping into a widow, before she even joined his family. The people in the soaring dragon continent were superstitious, and they immediately thought that Yu Ping was a jinx that would bring misfortune to her husband. That's why, although she was a member of one of the four major clans, House of Yu, nobody wanted to marry her. Everybody treasured their own sons after all, nobody was willing to risk asking her hands in marriage and got their sons killed for nothing. Sanji, congratulations. Yu Bing whispered softly as she slowly let go of her mother's embrace. Then, she stood up, intending to go back to her room. Your Sanji is not a stranger. Bing Er, don't eat in your room, let us all eat together as a family here. The beautiful woman pulled Yu Bing back to her seat. Yes. Yu Bing hesitated a little but pulled off her veil in the end. Holding her bowl and chopsticks, she slowly ate her food mouthful by mouthful. Suddenly, she asked Yu Yang, Sanji, what kind of guardian spirit beast did you receive? It's the element type, mist. 
Yu Yang realized that every word from his mouth was a lie ever since he was teleported here. Element type I'm not that good with it. I'm just a part-time student in my school, so I've only studied the fighting type. I don't know a single thing about the element type. Yu Bing was silent for a while, and then she continued, otherwise, I could teach you basic summoning skills to summon a spitting thorny flower, but that would waste one page of your summoning grimoire. That's okay. Yu Yang knew his own capabilities. He had a guardian spirit beast phantom shadow, which could be summoned for up to 10 days, and the innate skill, invisible sword Kai. Losing a few pages in the summoning grimoire and the number of spirit beasts wasn't that important to him. But since this lady wanted to teach him, he wanted to learn from her. He could fulfill the beautiful woman's wishes and be more familiar with all kinds of summoning skills. Who knows, he could even use the spitting thorny flower during battles in the future. Liu Bing wasn't a talkative person. She quietly nodded and finished the food in her bowl. Then, the little girl suddenly stood on her chair and reached out her chopsticks to take the smoked fish that was located furthest from her. Looking at her, one hand trying to stretch out her chopsticks and the other hand balancing herself on the table, Yu Yang couldn't help but feel afraid that she would accidentally fell. The beautiful woman hit her hand lightly and scolded her for not having manners. The little girl trembled with shock, but she had still managed to take a big piece of smoked fish. Just puffing up, she smiled with a pleased expression, then turned her body towards Yu Yang and stuck her tongue out. The wood knew she was so pleased with herself that she forgot she was still standing on the chair. The chair shook a little, and her legs lose their balance, causing her to fall on the ground as she shouted out, ah. Liu Yang immediately put down his bowl and used the kind of catching technique to save the basketball from being out of bounds. He reached out his two hands to support her head and her bum before the small girl fell flat on the ground. The sudden movement and weight caused his body to produce a few cracking noises as he caught her. Luckily his hands was still stable, and the small girl did not slip off from his hands. Sanjeej is so cool. The small girl was so shocked that her whole face turned white, but in just a moment, she had forgotten the whole spectacle of her falling from the chair. Instead, she climbed onto Yu Yang's body, latching onto him like a cola, giggling happily. The beautiful woman snapped out from her shock and stood up angrily, intending to scold this little imp. The small girl didn't wait for the scolding and quickly ran away. Sanerer, are you injured? The beautiful woman reached out her hands to help Yu Yang up. No, I'm okay Yu Yang couldn't show his weak side to her and quickly got up from the floor himself actually, he wasn't injured at all, he simply blanked out for a moment just now, shocked at his own reaction speed. He was in eat with slow reaction time, when did he became so agile? Could it be that this is the effect of training the innate invisible sword Kai skill? But he had only been training for a few days. This innate invisible sword Kai was indeed awesome. Liu Yang was extremely excited, yet he pretended that nothing had happened and quietly sat down on the dining chair, continuing his lunch. Liu Bing who was frozen as she stared at Yu Yang, finally snapped out of her daze and asked, Sanji, did you practice martial arts? I also practiced martial arts sometimes, but I couldn't react fast enough just now. Sanji, if you manage to contract a strengthening type spirit beast in the future, with the addition of your mist element type spirit beast, your fighting power will definitely be greatly increased. Looks like it is a mist with an attacking ability. It is indeed suitable for Sanji's growth. When the beautiful woman heard this, she felt extremely proud of San Er, who had been diligently training by himself, but she was a little worried. This is because in her eyes, martial arts were only meant for soldiers, while summoning skills were the most important skills for one to have a bright future. She gave Yu Yang a delicious smelling piece of pork ribs and said, San Er, it has been hard on you trying to hide your martial art training from us. You don't have a summoning grimoire last time, so there was nothing that could be done about it. However, now, you already have a summoning grimoire, so you should place more importance in improving your summoning skills. You could still train sparingly, but don't train so much that you hinder the progress of your summoning skills. Actually, the one who secretly trained his martial art skills was the pitiful guy, not me these words, Yu Yang did not say it out loud. Instead, he simply nodded and acknowledged the beautiful woman's words. He also knew that in the Soaring Dragon Continent, people place more importance on summoning skills training rather than martial arts training. Those that trained martial arts were like those people who could not graduate from junior high school and became farmers or blue-collar workers, while those who trained summoning skills were like those graduates from esteemed universities. Even if they both entered the same company and did the same work, they would receive totally different treatments. After lunch, Yu Bing followed Yu Yang to the courtyard in his residence, as she prepared to teach Yu Yang, the fake Sanji, all the knowledge she learned in her school. Chapter 7 Summon, Spitting Thorny Flower. A small girl stuck out her head and looked around, thinking of stirring trouble. But unfortunately she was caught by the beautiful woman and spanked in the butt several times. Yu Bing raised her hands and summoned her summoning grimoire. 
Her summoning grimoire was similar to Yu Yang's grimoire, copper in color. However, after years of practice and battles, she had surpassed the intermediate rank and rose up to the advanced rank. Her advanced rank summoning grimoire emitted a brighter luster than Yu Yang's beginner rank summoning grimoire. It was also thicker and smoother in texture. The illustration on Yu Bing's advanced rank summoning grimoire also looked more vivid than Yu Yang's. Just from the outer appearance itself, it was obvious that their levels were vastly different. Of course, no matter if it was beginner ranked, intermediate ranked or advanced ranked, a copper summoning grimoire was still the lowest level of summoning grimoires. Above copper, there were silver, gold, platinum and diamond grimoires. I will now give you the spitting thorny flower Sanji, you have to receive it in your mind. She touched her advanced grimoire to Yu Yang's beginner grimoire, and a bright light flickered. As Yu Yang received it in his mind, his summoning grimoire suddenly turned its pages by itself. In the previously blank third page, there was an illustration of a weird-looking flower. On top of the page, these words were written. Spitting thorny flower fighting type. Level 1. Uncontracted. When Yu Yang saw this, he felt a weird connection with his soul. Faintly, as if listening to a call, he reached out his hands and touched the spitting thorny flower illustration. In the next moment, a bright light suddenly shone from beneath his hands, and rays of light escaped through the gaps in his fingers. The light then started to envelop the back of his hands and towards his arms. At the same time, the related knowledge of spitting thorny flower beast appeared in his mind. Yu Binga eyes widened at the sight of this. She hadn't even told him how to make a contract with a beast in the plant category, how could he contract it already? And the weirdest thing was that he did not chant any summoning incantation. Could it be that Sanji, who was labeled a loser by others, had already attained the realm of chantless contract? Liu Bing decided to observe quietly. She felt that her Sanji was not the loser that other people sneered at, he could possibly be an extraordinary genius, the real deal. Can you summon the spitting thorny flower? Liu Bing deliberately did not tell him how to summon the thorny flower. Although summoning the thorny flower was an easy skill to grasp, it would still be difficult if one did not know the method of summoning. This was because the method to summon a plant category, insect category, animal category, beast category and etc. were totally different from each other. A student may be proficient in summoning monsters from all sorts of categories, but if he did not learn how to summon a monster from the plant category, he would still have a hard time summoning them. Even if it was the easiest monster, the spitting thorny flower. Alright. How could Yu Yang knew what his sister was thinking about? He thought that everyone in the soaring dragon continent would be able to do what he did. He placed his hand on the spitting thorny flower's illustration and closed his eyes. He then tried to connect his soul with the spitting thorny flower. The golden light flashes as a purple flower with a green stalk and giant leaves slowly appeared a meter in front of Yu Yang. It grew out until it was around a meter tall before stopping. Seeing the spitting thorny flower, Yu Yang thought that it looked extremely ugly. Its appearance looked almost like those man-eating flower monsters that usually appeared in games. The flower only had two petals that looked like a beast's mouth, with hundreds of sharp teeth inside. It looked extremely scary. He could see a green and slimy looking liquid inside the flower that smelled very bad. Looks like it was a type of poison. Other than the flower petals that looked like a beast's mouth, this spitting thorny flower was filled with thorns all over its body. Yu Yang had actually wanted to pat it a little, but seeing that the thorny flower was not adorable at all, he took back his hand. On the other side, Yu Bing's eyes almost popped out of its sockets. She thought, Sanji was indeed a genius. He had never went to school before and never learned the method to summon a monster from a plant category. But he managed to summon the spitting thorny flower out with telepathy. When Yu Yang looked up at her, the little miss quickly changed her expression, pretending as if nothing had happened. She did not praise Yu Yang nor cried out in surprise. Her expressions was normal, as if all of these were nothing out of the ordinary. The little miss Yu Bing even said, your summoning speed is a little slow, but since it's your first time, it's okay, I guess. Yu Yang was disappointed when he heard that, thinking that he really had no talent at all. Looks like his summoning ability was limited, he'd better train his innate invisible sword Kai instead. He scratched the back of his head and replied the little miss, actually, I think it's already good that I could summon it out. What should we do next? Looking at his reaction, Yu Bing giggled secretly. But on the outside, she acted like I am the teacher and immediately summoned her spitting thorny flower. When Yu Yang saw that the flower she summoned was ten times bigger than his, he immediately felt respect towards her. She had indeed lived up to the name of the Yu family's genius girl. Yu Bing gestured with her hands and pointed towards the walls nearby. Try to make the spitting thorny flower attack a target. The spitting thorny flower has the ability to spit poison at a chosen target. This little miss, in order to test Yu Yang, had once again left out the instructions on how to make the thorny flower attack a target. 
if it was another person and they did not know the method to order the flower to attack, when they tried to command it in their mind, the flower would probably walk towards the target and chomp it with its sharp teeth instead of spitting poison at it. Commanding the flower to execute its poison spit attack was a control skill. This was one of the topics tested in school. If a student from the plant department couldn't get his spitting thorny flower to spit out poison or make it climb more than 3 meters high, he would fail his exam. Hence, making the spitting thorny flower execute its poison spit attack was one of the most basic control training that the plant department students would need to train for. Yu Bing was not even treating Yu Yang as a person who had just contracted a grimoire anymore, she treated him like one of students who was taking an examination instead. Attack the wall, poison spit. At the sound of Yu Yang's command, the spitting thorny flower did not react at all. This distressed the boy greatly. He could not even execute such a simple command for a poison spit. Seems like although he had talent, it was extremely limited. Seeing Yu Bing's austere and solemn looking expression, Yu Yang felt like he was back in his old school, being punished by his teachers. He quickly encouraged himself to do better. Why can't I do it? Yu Yang thought for a while, and suddenly, the answer flashed across his mind. He smacked his forehead, ah, he was really an idiot. Even when training a military dog, they would need a target. Let alone the spitting thorny flower which was a plant, it would be weird if it could understand his words. Yu Yang ran towards the wall and grabbed a handful of mud on his way. He made a circle on the wall with the mud and drew a big cross in the middle. Then he quickly returned. Not caring about getting pricked by the flower, he put his hands on top of the flower crown. He tried to connect with the flower with his soul, and then he opened his eyes slowly. Looking at the target on the wall, he took the image and tried to synchronize it with the spitting thorny flower's thoughts, ordering it to spit at the target. Then a hiss. Could be heard. The spitting thorny flower had opened its mouth and spat a ball of green slimy liquid out. The spit flew in an arch in the air and splashed on the wall in the end. Yu Yang was disappointed when he saw this, as the poison was off the target by at least two meters. The mud circle was still perfect without a spot. Gosh, how could its targeting skills be so bad? Yu Yang was so embarrassed that he felt like digging a hole and hiding himself inside. Yu Bing pretended to be calm, but in reality, she was shocked beyond belief. Chapter 8 Birth of an Abnormal Genius DLN. This chapter's title is a pun. The author uses the word abnormal, that is also a slang for perverted. So title could also mean birth of a perverted genius. Haha. <laughs> in Yu Bing's eyes, her San Ji who had never went to school was even better in controlling monsters than the second year students in her school. Having not learned any of the controlling techniques, he had learned how to direct the flower to its target all by himself. He had synchronized with the flower and transferred his will into it. This feat was often a big hurdle for all of the students from the plant department when they were learning the control technique. Sanji had managed to do it so easily. Moreover, he learned it without anyone teaching it to him. In barely a few seconds, he could order a spitting thorny flower, which had just been contracted and summoned for the first time to attack a target with poison spit. Such a natural and quick thinking skill, once he entered school, he would probably be considered as a genius that only came once in a hundred years by the teachers. Yu Bing looked at Yu Yang who was thoroughly dismayed. Her greatest shock was actually not because of his quick thinking skills, but from the fact that this person, who was called a loser by the others, was absolutely not aware of how scary his natural abilities were. I. Yu Yang was about to hide in the corner and draw circles on the ground when he suddenly saw the spitting thorny flower in front of him wither and drop to the ground. A flash of information floated across his mind and made him smack his forehead again. He was really an idiot. The advantage of the spitting thorny flower from other monsters was that it does not need to be fed nor be taken care of. It also did not need a particular condition to exist. The monsters from the animal category and the beast category had to be fed in order to attack with their magic, while the monsters from the insect category and fish category needed to fulfill several conditions before it could exist in this world. Compared to them, the plant category and the puppet category were the easiest to manage. If the puppet category monsters was broken, it could simply be taken to the puppet palace to be fixed. However, if it was destroyed, then it wouldn't be able to be revived. Also, the greatest disadvantage of the monsters from the puppet category was that they couldn't evolve. On the other hand, the monsters in the plant category can evolve, but their greatest disadvantage was their movement speed. They were extremely slow. Furthermore, they lacked intelligence. Rather than training a spitting thorny flower to spit poison, people would rather train a wind wolf, shadow leopard, and engage in close combat instead. However, the spitting thorny flower also had its own advantage. Its greatest advantage was that it could devour a dead body and evolve. Other than monsters from the puppet category, as long as it was a living thing, it could devour them and digest them slowly. Then, it would evolve and level up using the powers in the dead body. 
It's just that in the beginning, this flower was extremely small and weak. One poison spit would have consumed all of its power, and it would quickly wither. Of course, this did not mean it was really dead. Only if it was utterly destroyed, then it couldn't be revived. Amongst all other monsters, no matter if they were holy beasts or mythical beasts, there was only one type who would never die. The guardian beast from the summoning grimoire. Guardian beasts were the only type of monster that would die nor betray their summoner. Other monsters would have their own degree of loyalty. If their loyalty was low, the monster could even run away during battles. Worst of all, it could disappear on its own from the summoning grimoire. Looks like you have already noticed it. Yes, the monsters in the plant category are indeed different from the others. They have a special ability, and that is take crude. Yu Bing then ordered her spitting thorny flower to spit poison, and it quickly hit the mud target on the wall accurately in the middle of the cross. Her faultless move made Yu Yang red with embarrassment. She was indeed one of the genius in the family, her skills were top notch. Then, Yu Bing's spitting thorny flower started to slowly wither. However, it didn't disappear like Yu Yang's flower did. Her flower only fell to the ground, and slowly, extremely slowly, it grew once again. Yu Bing acted like a teacher as she explained it to Yu Yang, just now I had just commanded the flower to take root in the soil. As long as it touched the ground, it can replenish its energy from the earth. This flower could then recover in around 10 minutes and would not wither. Yu Yang was like a student who was seriously listening to his teacher as he nodded happily, all right, let me try again. Eh? Yu Bing froze when she heard that. Try again. Didn't he just contracted a grimoire? New grimoire contractors should only be an apprentice, and an apprentice could at most summon a monster in a day. The spitting thorny flower that he summoned had already withered and disappeared, what was he going to try again on? She had wanted to take the opportunity to educate him, to tell him that he should protect his monsters well, and not let them die easily. This was because there was a limit to the number of times a person could summon their monsters. Thus, no matter if it was during battles or normal trainings, he should take better care for his summons. He, could he still summon another monster? On the other hand, Yu Yang didn't know what was going on in the little miss's mind. He excitedly tried to summon another spitting thorny flower, and then concentrated hard to order the flower to take root on the ground. It's a success, I could finally did it. Yu Yang clapped his hands in happiness. Although he was not a genius, he believed that at least he was not mediocre. Seeing all of these, Yu Bing almost fell on the ground. And thus, the astounded sister and the fake brother started to have this banter. Sanji, didn't you just contracted the grimoire? I say, you have only successfully contracted the grimoire a few days ago, right? The shocked Yu Bing asked agitatedly. Yeah, that's right. Yu Yang nodded as he replied. Then what level are you now? Are you a level 1 apprentice or a level 2 braveman? Yu Bing asked again. Level 1 apprentice. Yu Yang replied truthfully. You are a level 1 apprentice of what rank? Beginner rank, intermediate rank or advanced rank? How far are you from level 2? What I meant is, did you perhaps leveled up to level 2 without knowing and had became a beginner rank braveman? Yu Bing asked, full of curiosity. No, how could it be that fast? Take a look, I'm definitely a beginner rank level 1 apprentice. Leveling to level 2 is extremely hard, that I know. Although Yu Yang had only been here for a few days, he understood that more or less from the knowledge provided by the summoning grimoire. He turned his copper grimoire to his stats page to let Yu Bing see his level and rank by herself. After confirming what she heard, the little miss felt a little faint as she asked, Sanji, a level 1 apprentice could only summon one monster in one day, how could you have summoned two? Ah Yu Yang scratched his head, actually I did not summon two. You didn't? Then what is this? Yu Bing pointed at the spitting thorny flower that had just been summoned by Yu Yang. Was she only dreaming? That was the withered spitting thorny flower I summoned previously. Yu Yang felt weird. Was there something wrong? Even if it was that same plant, it has already withered and died, so you should not be able to summon it today anymore. How could you summon it again? Yu Bing was so confused that she almost fainted. Could it be that her Sanji was a genius that only come once in a thousand years, which only exist in legends? According to the legends, there exist a genius who had an abnormal growth, who could summon any of his contracted monsters twice. However, such a talent, let alone in a hundred years, even if it was a thousand years, it was hard to come by. Could it be that her Sanji was such a talent? Yu Bing looked at Yu Yang again with a different light. She saw a talent with abnormal abilities. Yu Yang didn't know that he was different from the others. He tried to explain in confusion, actually, the flower did not die. Just now when I first summoned the flower, I divided it into two. I left its main body and only summoned out one of its branch. But the main body and the summoned part has equal powers. Just now the branch had died, but its main body still exists, so it was not affected of course, this type of summoning would require strenuous effort. What are you saying? 
You knew how to do a division propagation summon. Yu Bing felt the sky around her turn dark. Chapter 9 The guy who was up to no good. Ah, didn't the flower has the abilities poison spit, take root, division propagation, corpse feeding and spores. I can't use corpse feeding as there are no corpses around right now, and spores require the flower to be of higher level. That's why I use division propagation. Wah. What are you doing? Yu Yang was flustered as Yu Bing had suddenly grabbed his sleeves tightly. You understood division propagation. Did I hear correctly? Yu Bing was so agitated that her whole face was red as she grabbed Yu Yang's sleeves tightly. Her eyes glared at Yu Yang as she interrogated him. Amongst the plant category, most of the monsters would have the division propagation ability. Especially the flowers, vines and mushrooms types. Almost all of them could propagate. However, other plant types such as trees and bamboos may not be able to. The teachers in the academy would only teach students how to use the skills take root and poison spit, but division propagation was not that easy to teach. Some teachers may not even mention the existence of this skill. Yu Bing had seen it executed before, which was the reason why she knew about division propagation. She had asked her teacher to teach her before, but that greedy bastard hinted that she would need to at least pay him 50 gold before he would be willing to teach her the hidden, almost cheat-like skill. Unfortunately, all of the family's fortune had been used to buy the spirit beast awakening knowledge pill from the floating mist market for Yu Yang. Having no funds, Yu Bing could only refuse this bribing offer. Hence, she never had the chance to learn the division propagation skill. And now, the one who was labeled as a loser could actually execute such a hidden skill without being thought by any teacher. How could this not agitate her? Third brother, teach me. Teach me how to make this plants do division propagation. Yu Bing was excited beyond belief as she shook Yu Yang's sleeves as hard as she could. Alright first, let me go calm down Yu Yang was nervous. He thought this little miss was too eager to learn. Alright, since she had taught him just now, it was his turn to teach her. Seventh sister, it is actually very easy. It's just like normal summoning. First use telepathy and synchronize with the spirit beast as one, to the point where you sort of feel that you can totally control the beast summoning. Then command it to execute division propagation. However, at this point, you should be sure that you have enough spirit power. Then the flower should give you an image, like there were two thorny flower plants, one should be the main body, while the other is the secondary body. You should then visualize leaving the image of the main body in your mind and summon the secondary body out as long as your spirit power is enough and the image of the main body you hold in your mind doesn't change, then you would have the power to use division propagation to summon the flower on limited times. However, that requires a lot of effort, your brain will be a mess. It's difficult to bear. Liu Yang told her what the copper grimoire had taught him when the knowledge of the spitting thorny flower came into his mind. He also included his own experience. He knew that even in the plant category, there should be an even greater hidden knowledge. Right now his level was too low, just an apprentice, hence he couldn't pull out all of those knowledge. Maybe, he thought, he could understand all of these knowledge because he had the divine vision skill. That's why he could see through the flower's hidden ability. Otherwise, how could the little miss who had studied for so many years in the academy, also knows as a true genius, had not learned the division propagation skill? Oh, okay, I'm going to try it immediately. This time it was Yu Bing's turn to act like an eager student as she nodded her head vigorously, her face showing an excited expression. Go about it slowly, don't rush it Yu Yang had not even finished his sentence before the little miss placed her hands on the flower illustration. She closed her eyes and imagined, testing it out. There wasn't any reaction for quite a long while, and Yu Yang had thought that he taught her wrongly. Suddenly, Yu Bing's expressions changed into pain as she turned deathly white. Her small hands started to tremble. This continued for around a minute before a golden light started to glow at her fingers. Two spitting thorny flowers appeared in front of her at the same time. The one on the left looked somewhat taller than the right, and its trunk was also slightly thicker. However, other than this, the two plants looked more or less the same, no matter the color, shape or movements. Their differences were negligible. At these, Yu Bing's forehead started to be drenched with sweat. It was as if she had won a great battle. She opened her eyes, wiped away the sweat with her hands and gasped for breath. Although she looked extremely tired, but her eyes only showed the excitement and joy of succeeding the feat. I've succeeded, succeeded. Thank you third brother. I've always wanted to learn division propagation, but there wasn't any teacher who was willing to teach me. Thank you third brother. Yu Bing thought about the grievances she had suffered in the academy, and her eyes started to turn a little red. But the little miss was extremely strong. She did not cry, but instead bowed towards Yu Yang. Yu Yang immediately shook his head and hands, no, it's okay. Seventh sister, if it wasn't for you who had given me the spitting thorny flower, I wouldn't even know about such a skill. When he said that, Yu Bing immediately snapped out from her excitement. 
That's right, didn't third brother just gotten the spitting thorny flower monster? How could he know about division propagation? Seeing the little miss looking at him with a weird gaze, Yu Yang was deeply confused. He hurriedly tried to lie to her, seventh sister, it's like this. My innate skill is camouflage. This meant that I can find out monsters' hidden abilities and attributes. But my skill is only at level 1, I can only find out the hidden abilities that were beginner ranked. Indeed, I didn't see your skills just now, so I didn't notice that. I didn't know that third brother's skill was such a godly camouflage skill. Even if Yu Ping was a genius, she was still a teenager. She easily believed Yu Yang's lie. Yeah, but you should never tell others, otherwise, they might get jealous. Yu Yang was a low-key person, and he didn't like to be the center of attention. His biggest dream was to be a shut-in millionaire. TLN. Lol me too. Third brother, just now, did you say that the flower had the corpse feeding and spore skills, other than poison spit, take root and division propagation? Yu Bing had now truly became Yu Yang's student. After learning the division propagation skill that she had very much coveted for many years, she thirsted to learn the other two abilities. Yu Yang only knew now that the knowledge he had was even deeper than a student who had spent four years learning in the academy. Yu Yang wanted to put his nose up on the air, wore a scholar robe and grow a long beard, then listen to the beautiful Miss Yu Ping, sweetly calling him Teacher Yu. However, after he had finished his imagination, his mischievous nature returned. Although Yu Bing did not meant him any harm, but if he told her everything, he wouldn't feel right. He was obviously a shameless bastard, how could he be nice towards her for free? Thus, Yu Yang decided to keep the secret of the thorny flower hidden. The thorny flower's corpse feeding ability enable it to swallow a monster corpse whole and digest it slowly. When commanding the flower to commence with corpse feeding, you would be required to be fully synchronized with it. For example, if you ordered the flower to eat an iron fur mice, you yourself must be willing to eat the iron fur mice in your mind. Ordering the flower to execute corpse feeding was nothing much, but did she had to be willing to eat the mice herself. When the little miss thought about that, she almost puked. Actually, the guy who was up to no good had used a mouse as an example on purpose. With regards to the corpse feeding ability, it was definitely not that simple. He had kept the real method secret. Chapter 10 Golden Crown Thorny Flower Queen. Haha. -ha. Yu Yang was secretly laughing. With his mice example, he managed to hid the secret skills of the spitting thorny flower. If the flower feed on corpses that were not suitable for it, it would never evolve. Corpse feeding allows the flower too to gain a huge amount of energy for recovery. This was extremely beneficial, especially in the long term. The flower had the ability to store excess energy it absorbed from corpses in its body. They would be stored in its fruits, which was called the thorny flower fruit. Each and every fruit would hang on the th when the flower feed from corpses, there is a big secret to it. If the flower had absorbed a living thing that had the same attributes in the beginning, then it would not become a variation, it would only gain levels. Conversely, if the flower had absorbed a living thing that did not have the same attributes, e.g. a human body, in the first absorption, it would not gain levels, but it would evolve to become a variant. Almost all of the monsters in the Soaring Dragon Continent were normal monsters. Only a few monsters would undergo evolution to become a variation under certain conditions. Monsters that had gone through variation would be much stronger than normal monsters. Such variant monsters could more easily evolve into an elite monster. When it evolved to an elite monster, its abilities would greatly increase. Similar to the Grimoire rankings, the elite monster's ranks are divided into copper, silver, gold, platinum and diamond, five different types of ranks. Every time an elite monster raises in rank, its powers would increase by tenfold. Let alone platinum and diamond ranked monsters, even having a copper ranked monsters was something only normal people could dream of all their lives. I think I'll give up on corpse feeding anyway my guardian spirit beast is not the thorny flower, it's a trained warrior. I would only use the thorny flower to practice controlling technique anyway, I've never used it for battle. Yu Bing shook her head as she quickly refused. She couldn't even stand the thought of eating an iron fur mice, let alone wanting to eat it. Such a pity Yu Yang laughed inside, he knew that the little miss had lost interest in the corpse feeding skill. San Ji, could you teach me the spore skill instead? Yu Bing was definitely a bright and eager student, she did not have any ill intentions like his fake brother. This is only a skill that a thorny flower who had reached level 4 thorny flower overlord could do. Even when a spitting thorny flower evolved into a level 2 carnivorous thorny flower or a level 3 giant thorny flower, it still wouldn't have the spore ability. Only when it has reached level 4 and became a thorny flower overlord, it could disperse its parasitic spores. Tln. I wanna be, the very best, these spores would stick on corpses and turn them into spitting thorny flowers. If the opponent was a living person, the, the spores would enter into the person and devour his internal organs, sucking in his blood. Then it will evolve into a carnivorous thorny flower and came out from the person's body by tearing his stomach apart. 
when Yu Yang explained it in that way, the little miss could only cringe as she was unable to endure it anymore. She was thoroughly traumatized when she thought of a spore entering a person through the mouth, devoured his internal organs, and then crawling back out. A grotesque carnivorous thorny flower forcing its way out of a previously healthy person, such a traumatizing scene. That, that was so frightening. Although Yu Bing was a genius teenager, her mental age was still a 15-year-old girl. Her pure and naive heart was deeply disturbed with such bloody images. Of course, Yu Yang had purposely described it with such vivid words. The real use for spores was not to kill people. Who would be so foolish as to stand still and let the spores take root on their bodies? The main purpose for these spores was to break down corpses. There are some special monsters that would turn into zombies when they die or resurrect again with several conditions. For example, the monsters in water category and fire category could be resurrected under a summoner's special skill. As the owner of the thorny flower, one would not be able to survive against these in a battle. The thorny flower spores could finally be used in this kind of scenario. They could parasitize these monsters' corpses and turn them fully into spitting thorny flowers, interrupting their revival. This interception would definitely weaken the other party's fighting strength. With regards to parasitizing on living people, it was actually something very difficult to do. Furthermore, rather than having the spores parasitize on them, wouldn't it be better to order the overlord thorny flower to gobble that unlucky person up? Who knows, maybe the overlord thorny flower could evolve another rank. Thank you third brother. Plant type monsters were already the weakest among the monsters, and this thorny flower is the weakest of the weak. It will be difficult to train it into a level 4 overlord thorny flower. It's best if we leave it at that. You should focus more on training your own guardian spirit beast, because that would suit your training the most what? You couldn't summon your guardian spirit beast. Ah maybe you are just like me, the oddballs amongst summoners what a pity. If only third brother has the talent to summon other monsters like you have summoned the thorny flower, then your future will be limitless. Such a pity when Yu Bing heard about Yu Yang's inability to summon his guardian spirit beast, she was greatly saddened for him. She quickly comforted him by assuring him that his guardian spirit beast was definitely the most suitable monster for him. He might not be able to summon it right now because his spirit level was not high enough. He could simply raise his spirit level slowly and there wouldn't be any problems in the future. Liu Bing also said that element type summons require a lot of conditions to summon. In the academy, she had heard stories about how some of the element type students couldn't summon their own guardian spirit beasts in the beginning. She had only wanted to take a load off Yu Yang's mind. How could she know that her fake brother's guardian spirit beast was actually a special type monster, phantom shadow, and not an element type beast? Furthermore, with the current spirit level in Yu Yang's body, he should be able to summon the Phantom Shadow. He had summoned it two days ago, but kept it a secret. Such a pity, third brother, your talent are just as useless as mine, the plant type that has no future. And you could only summon a Thorny Flower Yu Bing shook her head slowly as she sighed. In her mind, Thorny Flower was the weakest amongst the monsters. It was the monster that was used by the Academy as a teaching tool, so it was fated that there wouldn't be much growth. It's alright. As long as I work hard, no matter what kind of monster, even if it's just a weak thorny flower, it would be extremely strong when it reached level 10 and above. Seeing the miss became so sad for him, Yu Yang couldn't help but to comfort her with his words. Actually, based on the knowledge he got from the Grimoire, he understood an extremely important point. That is, plant-type monsters might look weak on the outside, however, in reality, it was not weak at all. It was in no way inferior to the most sought-after monsters such as the beast-type and bird-type monsters. The plant-type monsters appeared to be the weakest one, but on the contrary, it had a huge potential for growth, something that other monster types don't have. Should there be the king of plant-type monster, it would be this thorny flower that people had looked down upon. 3000 years ago, there was a ranker called the thorny flower fairy, who had evolved her thorny flower to its maximum evolution stage. The thorny flower's last stage of evolution turned out to be a human-like golden crown thorny flower queen. When demons tried to invade the soaring dragon continent, it was this thorny flower fairy and her thorny flower queen who had slaughtered three of the demon kings. The flower had also gobbled more than 5,000 demon troops. The boundless sea of flower that the flower queen had created became a nightmare for the demons. Even the unbeatable black dragon demon king would run away with tails between his legs at the sight of the thorny flower fairy. This thorny flower fairy was the only human being who had the strength to resist and massacre the strong warriors of the invading demon legion. Unfortunately, her lover died in the battle. The thorny flower fairy couldn't bear her loneliness and had chosen to be together with her lover instead. In the future generations, there had been no one that could uncover the thorny flower's secrets. Countless rankers had tried, but none could make the thorny flower evolve into a mythical rank humanoid mythical beast. In the end, people could only helplessly gave up researching on the thorny flower. 
On the other hand, beast types and animal types, these monsters who had great advantage in the beginning, quickly increased in their popularity with people. And thus, plant-type monsters lost its former glory and had been long forgotten as the strongest humanoid mythical beast who had massacred thousands of demons during the Demonic Legion invasion. It even become the Academy's teaching tool. That's right, we warriors should strive for self-improvement continuously. We must persevere. Third brother, thank you. Yu Bing nodded, looking like a model student again as she bowed respectfully towards Yu Yang. Third brother, I will go back for today. We can continue our training tomorrow. Seeing the little miss retreating back, Yu Yang mumbled to himself, since no one cared about this insignificant thorny flower, I'm gonna raise a golden crown thorny flower queen. If you're enjoying the content, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe to Fantasy World for more.